Hi everyone, my name is Juno. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video is an MBTI analysis of Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid's breakup. Most people have heard that uh, the celebrity couple has been off and on for the past six years. And I think it's a good idea to look at these couples and see uh, what we can learn so we can apply that in our own love life so we can uh, save time and have better relationships. So uh, what I've done is that I have some notes here uh, so that uh, I don't miss anything and then we can dive deeper into uh, maybe the dynamic uh, between these two individuals. So uh, first is that um, Zayn Malik and Jihadid started their relationship in November 2015 and their first breakup was in June 2016. Uh, the second breakup was in March 2018. The third breakup was in January 2019. Uh, they were back together in January of 2020. Uh, nine months later, uh, uh, Gigi Hadid gave birth to their daughter, Kay. The relationship ended officially uh, in October uh, 2021 after um, Zayn allegedly uh, had an altercation with Jihadi's mother. Uh, her name is Yolanda Hadid. It seems that as of early 2022, uh, they are still not back together, but they are co-parenting their daughter, Kay. Now, I think that it's a, a, a neutral sort of dynamic here because I usually um, say to people that like attract like, and both uh, Zayn Malik and Judy Hadid, I would uh, type as sensor perceivers. So uh, if people have watched my other videos, I did type Zayn Malik as an ISFP in the sense that he's someone who is the, you know an artist, uh, so he's a singer, songwriter, uh, he's someone who really enjoys doing his craft, but he's not really in the, the public eye, so he's someone who probably uh, is recharged by being alone or with only a few close friends. And actually most people said he's a, really a homebody. And also I said that uh, Zayn Malik comes across as a feminine energy, actually in the band people have told him that uh, he's the one who's probably the most sensitive. So based on that, that's why I typed him as an ISFP. Uh, on the other hand, I would say that uh, Jihad is most likely an ESFP. So she's a sensor perceiver. She is a model, um, and rather well known. Uh, so these are the type of professions that you'll see uh, sensor perceiver attracted to. She's a feminine energy. So in other words, uh, she comes across as very feminine, um, even in terms of uh, the the body language and so forth. So I would say that she is most likely just like Zayn Malik, right brain dominant, but also she's someone who seems to be comfortable uh, being the center of attention. So, I mean, it seems that she's someone who may even like uh, actively trying to uh, draw attention to herself compared to Zayn Malik. I usually say that uh, the best match for um, just about any personality type is there the same type or the introvert or extroversion of that type. And when you think about it, uh, Zayn Malik and Jihadid would actually have you know that in common. In other words, uh, Zayn Malik is the introverted version of Gigi Hadid. And you might ask yourself, well, if this is the case, why um, they didn't make it work? <laughs> because I mean, I've rarely seen a couple uh, have so many breakups and makeups. Uh, it's it's kind of unusual within a short period of time, only six years. Uh, so uh, the first thing that that comes to mind when I look at the situation is that first of all, Zayn Malik. Uh, has admitted to have an, an eating disorder. He suffers from anxiety, and you rarely see him like without. I mean, you know, either smoking cigarettes or, or now he's, he smokes a lot of uh, marijuana. So he seems to be someone who needs to be, um, you know, to medicate himself constantly to actually be able to cope. And even in terms of his career, I mean, he obviously loves singing and, and writing songs, but he's not able to tour because of the fact that he is, um, and you know, dealing with uh, high levels of anxiety. So that doesn't help. If you have a partner who's dealing with a mental health issue, they usually don't have enough energy for themselves, let alone somebody else. And when you have obviously um, a, a, a child put into the, this uh, 
a you know, scenario, this is even harder. And the other aspect is that Zayn Malik being an introvert, I find it kind of odd that he wanted to have a relationship with Jihadid because uh, their her family are very much in uh, the limelight. I mean, the her mother, uh, Yolanda, was part of the... Um, the, the reality of the housewives. So these are people who don't mind having cameras, you know, in their sort of intimate circle. So I find it's an odd uh, choice of a partner for him if he's someone who likes his privacy. Uh, the other aspect is that um, they're, you know, they're really young. I mean, uh, uh, Gigi Hadid is uh, now 25. She's going to turn 26 soon. And uh, Zayn Malik is 29. Uh, but I find that uh, with most people, uh, we usually fare better when we're a bit older, <laughs> so we have maybe more life experience. I think that probably this relationship is their first serious one. Uh, I mean, six years ago, um, Gigi Hadid was, what, uh, barely 19 years old when she started dating Zayn Malik. So that's rather young when you're actually starting uh, that type of relationship. So again, I think that uh, if we're older, if we have more time to sort of, you know, try different types of uh, relationships and, and partners, we can better define ourselves before saying, okay, let's have a relationship that is uh, so scrutinized. Because I, I almost feel that, um, especially in the part of Ji Hadid, she, she, she attracts you know, attention, you know, uh, on a regular basis. And if you're trying to have a healthy relationship, uh, it is going to be difficult when the media is, uh, you know, scrutinizing every move that you make. I think that uh, most couples really need to have their privacy protected. And the other aspect also is it seems that her family has quite a bit of influence on her. So I, it seems that G Hadid, uh, especially as I said, you know, she's younger, uh, she maybe doesn't have the the the, uh, the strength to to have a sort of better boundaries with her family so i feel that her family tends to uh, sort of uh, you know get into you know her <laughs> personal affairs and that can put strain on a relationship like that so um I would say that, uh, again, when it comes to uh, whether or not uh, a couple is compatible, I, I mean, in terms of personality types, you know, Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik would be a good fit, but it has to be in the context of two healthy people. Um, in other words, if you're dealing with mental health issues, that it's a strain. Another challenge is that having a mother-in-law like Yolanda Hadid who is very much a public figure, who uh, doesn't mind, actually, actually seems to enjoy being the center of attention. So uh, maybe Gigi Hadid uh, is, has a hard time actually having healthy boundaries with her family. So this context made it difficult for Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid to have a healthy relationship, especially now they brought a child into this dynamic. They might have even issues in terms of like maybe... Uh, uh, you know, in, in terms of who's going to get the custody of this child, I don't know, uh, but uh, it doesn't uh, look it's like it's going to be a healthy resolution. And I'm actually surprised uh, to hear that Zayn Malik was accused of uh, being physical with uh, his uh, mother-in-law in terms of having this altercation because his personality type as an ISFP are really uh, violent. So that is kind of odd <laughs> in terms of what I've seen over, over the years with people with that personality type. So uh, in the teams that there might be some like false accusation going on. So that is usually not a, a good context or a good you know a situation to have a healthy relationship so um it, i'm not surprised that this this off and on thing so i would say that if, if you can can't you know uh, have a relationship and keep it long term and you have to constantly you know be pulled apart and going back together it is not a good sign so i'll, I'm, I'll be surprised if uh, they got back together or they would be happy long term and it's unfortunate because now they have a child together so um for to to summarize i would say that when it comes to romantic relation we have to look at a person's age a person's uh, uh, mental and physical health you have to look at whether or not you have privacy um, the influence of the in-laws in terms of you know their, their influence on the couple um, if also you are ready to and bring a child into this dynamic 
make. Uh, and I think that Zayn Malik and uh, Jihadi's relationship is uh, almost a cautionary tale as to maybe things to avoid to have a happy, healthy, long-term romantic relationship. So let me know if uh, you agree or disagree with uh, this uh, MBTI breakup analysis by commenting below. If you like this video, if you learned something, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and we will talk soon.